हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मालकोटी फ्रॉम चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल इन द सेशन दिस सेशन इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द फोर्स मीट टॉपिक व्हिच वी हैव कवर्ड इन द प्रीवियस सेशन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव लर्नड अबाउट द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फोर्स मीट एंड स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्वड इन फोर्स मीट प्रिपरेशंस and in today's session you are going to learn about the types and uses of force meat by the end of the session you should be able to identify the various types of force meat and you should be able to elaborate the various uses of force meat force meat can be classified into five categories campania or country style straight method gratin style muslin 543 emulsion style campania or country style force meat it is the earliest type and is traditionally made of pork the fat used is pork fat the force meat has a dense coarse ground texture the earliest force meat were chopped with two knives because of the lack of grinding equipments it is highly seasoned to nature as there were no refrigeration or preserving techniques in olden days the seasoning included onion garlic black pepper corn juniper berries bay leaf and nutmeg it uses extra binding agent in the form of extra eggs or panada which is paste prepared from starch products This picture shows the preparation of campania style force meat. Once the force meat is coarsely chopped or grounded, the garnish can be added and now the force meat is ready to be used. Straight method. This force meat is also called as basic force meat as the meat and the fat are ground together. This force meat is more refined having less dense texture. This came in with the improvement in equipment wherein more refined style of force meat was possible any type of meat can be used as a dominant meat in combination with pork white meat like poultry or fish is rarely used pork fat like fat back or jowl fat is used more delicate seasonings were incorporated as shallots wine brandy all spice and ground white pepper it uses less binding agents in comparison to the country style force meat this slide explains the process of a straight method force meat as in first step meat and fat are ground together with seasonings and then additional binding agents can be added like eggs or cream if required and then it can be used as per the requirement gratin style force meat the name of this force meat is derived from the pre cooking some of the major components such as meat and fat prior to the grinding process this may entail only lightly browning the dominant meat or pork meat as the use of the word gratin most types of meats are used for this preparation with an exception of poultry and fish often liver of pork veal or other meats are used pork fat like jowl fat or fat back is commonly used fat from the dominant meat can also be used the texture of this meat should be very fine and it should be ground till smooth the density of the meat is also lighter panada is not commonly used in this uh, force meat seasonings are same like other force meat but except it has a nutty flavor because of the browning of the meat muslin style force meat the most distinctive feature of this force meat is the type of the fat used in its preparation the use of cream as the source of fat allows the production of extremely light and smooth product it is made using lean meats or white meats like seafood poultry etc panada may be added for a smooth texture the seasoning is very light such as shallots white pepper and wine 
Muslin force meat should not be confused with a mousse. A mousse is a mixture of fully cooked or pureed basic ingredients bound with gelatin or fat and lightened with an aerator. This slide explains the process of making a muslin style force meat. First, the meat, especially white meat, is grounded with seasoning to the required texture and then egg white is added to the mix and it is continued to puree. As the mixture is getting pureed, gradually cream is added until it is fully incorporated in the mixture. The mixture is then passed through tamis or sieve to ensure smoothness. And now the muslin style force meat is ready to be used. 543 Emulsion Force Meat This type of force meat is extensively used in sausage preparation. Its name is derived from the ratio of the components of the force meat. The normal ratio is 5 parts of meat, 4 parts of fat and 3 parts of ice. 543 emulsion force meat is made from any kind of meat except fish. The mixture should be a perfect smooth paste. By processing the components of the force meat with ice, the results in a very strong emulsion of meat and fat when it is cooked. A variety of binders are used for binding and water retention such as non-fat dry milk, sodium caseinate and phosphates. This slide explains the preparation of 543 emulsion style force meat. All the ingredients like meat, seasoning and binding agents are added initially and then ground. Ice is added when meat has coarsely ground. Temperature is carefully monitored. Ground fat is added when the mixture is at 40 degree Fahrenheit and the edges are scraped down to ensure a homogeneous mixture and proper emulsion. Force meat can be used for various purposes. It can be used for the preparation of galantine, pate, sausage, terrine, timbale and quenelle. A galantine is a dish of deboned stuffed meat, most commonly poultry or fish, that is poached and served cold, coated with aspic. Galantines are often stuffed with force meat and pressed into a cylindrical shape, then poached, chilled, and then ultimately it is served sliced. A pate is a preparation in which force meat is encased in a paste or dough like in pie, then it is baked, chilled, sliced, and then served. Sausages, it is a generic term to be used for force meat which is stuffed inside a casing and which is cured and smoked. Terrine, it is a type of force meat usually cooked and served in special earthenware pots or molds in which it is cooked. Timbale is derived from timbalo which means drum. It is basically a special pan which is drum shaped in which force meat sliced vegetable or ham or bacon are laid and then which is baked and served. A quenelle is a mixture of creamed fish or meat sometimes combined with breadcrumbs with a light egg binding formed into an egg-like shape and then cooked. The usual preparation is by poaching. Formerly, quenelles were often used as a garnish in hot cuisine, but today in these modern days, it can be served uh, at their own as a main course or main dish. By this, we come to an end of the session. And in upcoming session, you will learn about brines, cures and marinades. Thank you for watching. Keep safe.